12th Man TV is once again in the film room. We are spending this spring with the Texas A&M Aggies. And as always, your coverage is brought to you by your local Texas Ford dealers. We spent some time today with wide receivers coach David Beatty. He will soon take us through what he has been working with when it comes to these wideouts during spring ball. But first, I want to ask you, is it a bit of a challenge getting these receivers up to speed in that tempo you want in this new offense? Uh, yeah, it is. It always is when you start something new. Uh, but it's been a, a little bit of a challenge for us getting them to understand what we mean by tempo. Uh, there's a lot of different definitions that go along with that in this game. Uh, but for us, it obviously is something that's very key to what we do. Uh, and it has been a challenge for us getting them to understand it in the early part of spring, but they're starting to get it, really starting to understand the value of it and what a great tool it is for us offensively. There is some guys that have been around that are back with this wide receiving core, obviously new to you, but during these early days of spring, the first half of it, has anybody jumped out and surprised you a little bit? There have been a few guys that have really stepped up and surprised me. Um, you know, there's no secret what Ryan Swope can do for us. You know, Easy has been a guy that's been around here for a long time, uh, has a lot of experience, and it shows on a day-to-day -day basis with the way that he works. Some other guys that have really stood out for us, uh, LeKendrick Williams has really been a bright spot for us. Uh, he's a guy that, you know, in this system really might have opened up a new door for him. Uh, he's really done a good job of studying. We just had to run him out of this film room when we started this video just a few minutes ago, and I like those type of guys. Uh, Malcolm Kennedy, another guy that, you know, we've worked in there a little bit in the inside receiver spot that has been a nice surprise, particularly in scrimmages. He's really shown up and done some good things. Nate Askew is a guy that we think we can get some great stuff out of. Uh, you know, another guy that really has played a different role for us here is uh, Mike Lamont, and he's really done a great job uh, from coming from a tight end, true tight end position, to doing some of the things that you do from an attached and a detached position. All right, well, let's take it to the film. Why don't you show us what specifically you've been working with these guys on? Okay, fantastic. Well, there's been a, a big, great emphasis put this year on um, competition in every drill that we do, that there's going to be a loser and a winner in everything that we do. Uh, so we put a great deal of uh, emphasis on that. And this drill is no, no stranger to that. This is a competition drill that we, we call the box drill. And as you can see, we're going to put a, basically a five-yard box, and this thing is going to extend all the way almost to the hashes. And I'm going to position myself as a coach right here at the top of this deal. Now, if you'll freeze that right there for me. All right, what we're going to do is we're working a series of, of different components here. First of all, we're working release moves, okay? So we're basically working a, a toolbox that we give those receivers to utilize the different types of releases that we'll use against press coverage, which as you know, in the SEC, we're going to get that. So we've got to do a good job preparing this spring and in the fall to face this type of coverage. This doesn't only help us, but it helps our defense, and we're going good against good every rep. Now, one of the things that we're really focusing on here is coming to balance with our first step and not stepping up field and inviting contact from that defender. All right, so we do a good job of coming to balance and doing a good job of giving ourselves some type of lateral movement and selling with our head and shoulders to try to make this defender move off that stem. Mm -hmm. All right, the object here is to try to get yourself in a stack position. All right. So we want to get this defender in a trail position, okay? As we can get him in a trail position, that's the most favorable position that we can be in, all right? Now, how we do that is by winning at the line of scrimmage with the toolbox of different releases that we give them, whether it be single jab, double jab, delay release. There's a host of different tools that we give them, okay? So once we get to that point, now the object is to get our hips through and get into that stack position. And one of the big emphases is, is trying to get that back arm through so we can get those hips through and get into a stack position. James, I don't know if you can erase that or, or not, okay? But here we go. So as you see Ryan Swope here, he's doing a good job of coming to balance. We really are in somewhat of a disadvantage here because of the small quarters, which is good for us. So we're making it as hard as we can. Here Ryan comes to balance. He chooses, chooses to take a free release outside. And as you can see him dipping and ripping and watch how his hips come through and it puts him into a stack position there. All right, the object, like I said, is to touch the coach. I've been ran into a couple times. It doesn't feel real good, but that's the object of the drill. Now, this next cut is with, uh, it, with, his, it, with Easy. Now, as you'll see here, Easy's getting a good amount of contact from this DB. Now, what he needs to do a little bit better job of here is coming to balance and not getting as much contact and doing a better job with his hand-to-hand -hand combat at the very beginning of this. It's really kind of hard to catch there. He's got to be strong with that left arm and really strong with that right arm. As you can see me really trying to overemphasize ripping that back arm through and really trying to get those hips through and let's get in a stack position. 
so we can move on to the next one. Okay, get back to Ryan Swope. So Ryan does a really good job. If you run it back right there for me, James, you'll see him do a good job with his back foot coming to balance and working to a lateral position, strong with his right arm, being very physical with this man and trying to make sure he doesn't get in contact with our chest. Ryan knocks him off of his stem, and now he's able to really try to get himself. We'd like to see him get stacked a lot quicker right here. All right, but he does a good job of bringing that back arm through, and that muscle memory will start, it'll start sinking in for those guys. All right, this is the Kendrick Williams, little quick guy. All right, we call him Beep. All right, <laughs> the Kendrick does a lot of stuff at the line of scrimmage. You know, sometimes this is a good tool to use, but it's not always something you want to use every time. Now, one thing that he does do here is he does a thing called swimming. And when he does this, he puts a lot of, gives the defender a lot of, of structure to be able to place his hands into him. We don't want that. That's why we emphasize trying to either punch through and keep the elbows in tight or rip through and try to get those hips through. But he does do a good job playing with speed, and that's what we want to focus on there. All right, next one is Ryan Swope again. Does a good job coming to balance. Ryan's a physical player, strong up top. So he does a good job of getting his hands on that upper elbow and turning that torso of that defender. So one of the things we talk about is that hand placement with that hand-to-hand -hand combat needs to be on that elbow. Because if we can get out on that elbow and you can slow it down for me right here, James. All right, run it back just a bit. If that aiming point with that, that, that slap hand is up on this elbow, watch the torso turn. Okay, if we can get that torso turn, now we can get our hips through and get back on that spot. All right, so I know this sounds like there's a lot that goes into it, and there really is. But if we can continue to get better at that, we'll give ourselves the best chance to be successful next year in the SEC. All right, so competition is very key in this drill as it is with the whole team at this time. You'll get a little competition uh, this week. Uh, it's Friday Night Lights. Always can help make better competition if the crowd comes out and you can see how these guys react in front of a big crowd. You want the 12th man there this Friday. Right. You know, the greatest recruiting tool that we have here is the experience of the 12th man mm -hmm. and our fan base. There, there's no finer game day atmosphere than there is right here at Kyle Field. And if we can get our Aggie Nation rallied to be here Friday night, that's going to do nothing but help us in our quest for landing the top players in this next class. So we need the Aggies to come strong with us Friday night, and we appreciate your support. Well, we appreciate your time in the film room today. Good luck throughout this week at Spring Ball and on Friday night. You bet. Thank you, guys. That's David Beatty right here in the film room on 12th Man TV.